Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Justin here and we are doing free CodeCamp tutorials. We are in the coding interview prep section under the algorithm section within that section. And the past two days we did the bubble sort and the selection sort. Today we are doing something that's slightly harder in my opinion and that is called the insertion sort. By the way, guys, if it's your first time here, I release these type of algorithm videos and other coding videos such as React tutorial videos, uh, making game tutorial videos, and things like that on almost a daily basis. So guys, if you like my content, please click like and subscribe below. Anyways, on with insertion sort. So let me read this for us real quick. The next sorting method we will look at is insertion sort. This method works by building up a sorted array at the beginning of the list. It begins the sorted array with the first element. Then it inspects the next element and swaps it backward into the sorted array until it is in sorted position. It continues iterating through the list and swapping new items backwards into sorted portion until it reaches the end. This algorithm has a quadratic time complexity in the average and worst cases. Okay, guys, so before I send you guys off to try this on your own, let me just show you guys what's going on because I know the directions can be kind of confusing. So let's look at this example that they have here. And we're first just going to look at, pretend that our array is just the first one element like that, the first element. And then we're going to compare that with this four, which is the next element here. Do you see? So do we first check, is four less than one? No, it's not. So it just stays put and we build it to our array like so. Now that we have finished this, we look at the next element in the array and then we compare. Is two greater than four? Is two less than four, I mean? Yes, it is. So we just expand this, we flip these two, and then now we compare. Is two less than one? No, it's not. So we stop going left, we lock it in place, and then we introduce the next variable, which is eight. Notice right now that one, two, four is sorted, right? We introduce eight, we say, is eight less than four? No, it's not. So this is locked in place. We go to 345, that's already locked in place, as you could probably tell. We go to one, two, three, and I'll just do a few more, just so that you guys get the hang of this. And then we compare, is this less than 345? Yes, it is. So we swap them like so. And then we compare with the other one, and now it's locked in place. So you keep on going left, you keep on swapping left until it's locked in place. Because we know that everything is sorted, so once it encounters, once this one to three encounters a number that's less on the left side, it no longer you no longer need to check to uh, see if you're swapping or not. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Guys, if you guys don't understand this, please try Googling some videos about insertion sort to give you a little bit of a better visual aid. But if you have understood it, try to implement this on your own. Pause the video now, try to implement it on your own, and then come back to this video to see how I solve this. Okay, so if you're still watching, I'm going to assume that you have attempted or solved this one. So this is what I'm going to do. We need a for loop within a for loop. Let's get that out of the way first. And my first, my outer for loop, which I will use the i variable, it's going to be the, this will keep tab of, the number that we're introducing to our array. You know how for after this one has already been sorted, we're gonna introduce one, two, three, no, not one, two, three, uh, 43 into this array, right? So this I will keep track of what index this next number is. Now it doesn't make sense to start from zero because if you start from the zero of index, you got no, no array to compare to. So we're gonna let I start from the first index and I will go all the way to the end of the array so array.length, i++. Plus plus. And now we have to think about what j is going to do. So what I'm going to let j do is it's going to keep on going down the list. So j would, uh, it will be j minus minus the end. It will decrement by one every single time. And it's just going to compare the, I, the, the, the latest number with the last one in the array. And it will keep on comparing. If it needs to swap, it will swap, and then it will compare these two, and then it will compare these two, and so on. So hopefully that makes sense. We're gonna do four. Let J, now where should J begin? So J will first start off at I, right? So I was the one that we're comparing with, and it will compare with this previous one. 
if it needs to swap, it will swap and then it will compare with its previous on and so on. So it will start, start at I, it will go till it's greater than zero because the moment that we're on the second last one, it doesn't have to go anymore because there then this one doesn't have a previous element to compare with, right? So we don't go to the zeroth index, we go to the first index actually, and we decrement j by one, like so, and we have to do the comparison now. So we are going to say, if array at index j is less than array at index j minus one, the previous one, then we got to swap. So let's you introduce our temp variable, const temp, is equal to array at index j and then array at index j will equal array at j minus one and then finally uh array at j minus one will equal temp so we have successfully swapped the two in place we go back and then compare the next two uh and then we compare the next two and we keep on swapping until j uh the before element is not, uh, it is less than the, the element that we are in right now. So else, if we are no longer dealing with this case where we need to swap, we could just break out of this loop because everything is sorted. So we don't have to compare any longer. So after we have done that, I think we are done. So this will continue swapping, continue building up our array until he has put everything in order. Let's see if we are dealing with the correct solution. I'm gonna console log the result of this. And let's see what we get. I run the code and it does look sorted. Let's see if free code camp is satisfied with this solution. Let's bring this over here, run the tests and we pass. Okay, so as always with all these uh, sorting videos, what I'd like to do is we could replace these three temp swapping uh, lines of code with just one line of code by putting an array, flipping the two elements like so, j minus one, and then array, flip them around on the left right side, j minus one, array at j. So this will essentially replace these three lines of code like that, making it a lot more cleaner. I run the code again and it is still sorted. Another thing that I always talk about in these video is, is I like uh, keeping my function pure, meaning it won't affect, it won't mutate the array that we pass it in. So the way that we do that is we make a copy of it by calling array.slice. And I will put that in a new variable called r. And every single place henceforth, instead of using the original array, we will use r. That way it won't mutate the array that we're giving to this function. I still run the code and we still get the sorted code. So let's bring this over. Let me just get rid of some of these spaces here. Like that. Let's bring this code over. Let's see if free code camp is still satisfied with this solution. We run the test and we still pass. Okay guys, so that was the insertion sort. So there is other ways to set this up. I just think this is the most logical. I could be wrong. Maybe you like another way. That's fine. Uh, however, this was my solution. Guys, if you guys like my content, please click like and subscribe below. And tomorrow we will be dealing with the quick sort. So please join me tomorrow and I will see you guys next time. Happy coding.